This episode of This Real Fisherman finds me starting in the backwaters of the Mississippi River pursuing a fish that dates back 60 million years. Okay, now we got a cigar here. That's what's been after that bait. I guess too much. There we go. North American gar. Comes another gar. Almost looks like a short-nosed uh, gar. Here I've frozen the frame to show you the beak of the short-nosed gar, which will allow you to compare it to that of the uh, long-nosed gar in the last segment. Okay, overboard you go. Freaking fish. Woo! Alright. Mr. Gar. These suckers have been stealing my bait. Down to my last bluegill. And I finally hooked one of these suckers. Yeah, 
teeth are sharp. Just got poked by it. Now let's see if we can get the hook out of him. this bad boy up. There you have it. Now that is a, a dandy fish. That is a, a long nose gar. And uh, there's some big boys in here like this. They've been uh, taking my bait pretty much all afternoon. And uh, the thing is, they got this uh, long beak here. Whoa! And uh, they uh, pretty little wicked. They, they take the bait. They don't swallow it immediately. They just kind of work it back along their beak. And if it's something they want to eat, then they'll we'll go ahead and take it. So, from a fisherman's point of view, they're a very difficult fish to hook. But, uh, there's a ton of them in here. They're very common. This is a pretty large, uh, pretty lar large example of one. I think we'll just, uh, let him go before he slimes up the whole boat. Cut his little strain off here. It's got a little bit of a bite. Back you go into the water, dear. I've been slimed. My boat's been slime. What can I say? Slime, slime, everywhere slime. Yeah. Well, I got cut up a little bit on that guy. They've got a little bit of an overbite, and even though I had his, uh, I had him taped up there. A couple of the teeth got me. Dandy. So, it's about five species of fish we caught today. <laughs> <laughs>